Uh, Dad, didn't you already kind of frame yesterday? What is this? Yeah, I put, put in some new framing on the wall to try to finish off this, getting ready to insulate all this and everything. Should I have gone back inside? No, steel working is going on. Oh, okay, right, all right, I can. Insulation is number two on the uh, do not attempt list, though. Yeah, but you're gonna be doing that. You might as well. Did you get the get nice over. wrapped stuff, or? No. No? Ah. I don't know if they even make that anymore. I think we got that on clearance the last time we got it. Huh. What I would like to do, in addition to putting the framing in, you can see some other little nifty stuff going on here. I want to build a shelf here. It'll be on top of this, so the, the shelf framing will be up here. This is just kind of a, a brace to set it on. And I actually want that shelf to come all the way out here like this, make a little square right here. Okay. I'm going to try to tie it there and tie it up to the rafter up there. And I want to put my air compressor on there. Ah, so the shelf is going to be full of hot air. Yeah, exactly. Or cold air, depending on the time of year. Oh, okay. Well. And so further, what I'd like to do is actually enclose it. Now, it won't be airtight or anything. I'll enclose it. I'll leave some ventilation so that the air compressor can get air. But I'd like to enclose it mostly so that we can be quieter. Yeah. You know, a couple times the air compressor's gone off, I've uh, jumped about five feet into the air. Yeah, I've got video of me almost throwing a whole handful of tools when the air compressors come on. <laughs> our, our air compressor or our airline somewhere has just a little bit of leak in it. And so the air compressor runs occasionally at a very unexpected time. Did you I call it our think. airline? Because it sounds like a jet. Oh. Do you think it's... Oh, like, oh, you're talking about the actual air, air line. line. Yeah, like that. Yeah. That's enough there. Well, I liked the jet. It's engine. tractor time with Tim. That, yeah, okay. Not plane time. We do have a subscriber with the handle Airplane Doctor. Maybe he could chime in. But I don't know that, uh, I don't know much about airplanes Neither do I. or airlines. One of my friends is a AV, aeronautical engineering technology major. Okay. Maybe she could. Maybe she could help us out? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to get some more wood at this point. And so maybe some more lunch. And you know what this means. What? means we get to go to Menards. That's true. I don't think I've been to Menards in a very long time, Dad. The whole entire Christmas vacation you haven't been to Menards? I haven't been to Menards yet. Oh my goodness. And it's like two weeks into Christmas vacation, Dad. We've got to go to Menards then, don't we? I'm not sure I've been to Menards since, well, I don't know. I don't think I've been since I got back from China. Wow. Okay, we'll go today. All right, good. I've been missing it. We're getting there, Christy. Yeah, this is my hiding spot. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. It'll work well till the air compressor starts up in there. That'll be quite loud. On second thought, we'll have to build somewhere else. See if you can hang there. See if you can tear it down by hanging on it. No. Does that Fitbit thing give you any points for hanging? Well, I can set it for exercise mode. Let's see. You'll, 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 you'll hurt yourself if you do that. I'm on run. Weights. Is it like lifting weights? No. Treadmill. No. Workout. Yeah, that's it. I would say this video is sponsored by Fitbit. Maybe. Since Katrill and I both have one, but somebody in the family doesn't want to get fit. Right. Cheeseburgers. Yeah. It doesn't have a cheeseburger mode, by the way. Oh, it doesn't? No. Well, see, that's why I don't want one. Right. Okay, we'll continue working at it. It's hard to hold the camera while we're doing the work, isn't it? Yeah, it takes both of us. It's a little bit above my head, though. Ha, I will ha, not have ha. trouble walking under it. And you only have about that much to spare. Yep. Now things are the way they ought to be. Me working, you videoing? Yeah, me getting a Pepsi. Yep, that's normal. Hey. Truth hurts, though, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. This is great stuff. <laughs> it is great stuff. Here, right by this little thing here. Is that far enough, you think? Yeah. You gotta where know. is it? Where is it cold? Right at the edge. Oops, sorry. So that's where your board's gonna be? Something like that, yeah. Now we're doing some wiring before we do any more framing. What do you think? I think my wires aren't quite all the same length. Got your wires crossed? Yeah. <laughs> 
not a big deal, but it's kind of annoying. Here's our idea. Our idea is that we're going to put some, going to put a light up under here. Okay, this will be un, to light the under the shelf because it'll be real dark in there. We're also going to put a light in the little room that we create because we're going to have it all covered. It's going to be dark in there. We're going to switch them both off of the same switch. Doing that for laziness. Yeah, because sometimes it doesn't really matter if you got both of the lights on because we probably won't be using either one too much. Well, this way we won't leave the inside one on accidentally. Right, we'll always know. So we had the outlet up there. That's where we're getting our power. Because I only had, I think, two outlets on a 20 amp circuit. That's why I overwire when I start. The other thing we're going to switch here is the air compressor. Right now the air compressor runs every so often because there's an air leak of a little bit. Not enough air leak to worry about, but there is a little bit of an air leak. Now I can actually switch it off without even getting close to the compressor and only switch it on when I'm going to use it. Hopefully it won't be so loud sometimes when we aren't expecting it to uh, turn on. Yep. Not a lot of action shots, have we? No, we've kind of both been working on this one, Dad. But uh, so far we have the framing done, and what I am personally most proud of is this wonderful set of switches and outlets wired by yours truly. This one will switch on and off the air compressor. This one will switch on and off a light under here, and then one also up in the treehouse, we're going to call it. Um, and then this set of outlets just, you know, is a They're always outlets. hot. Mm -hmm. so, I don't know. I'm pretty proud of this wiring that you see right here. You know what this means? What? The next step. Has something to do with metal work? No. Okay. Second best. Second best. Mayonnaise? <laughs> Probably about mayonnaise on your list. Insulation. Insulation! Ugh. You're right. That is mayonnaise on my list. I think I have plans for tomorrow, Dad. Yeah, yeah, I got plans. By the way, earlier today, uh, we decided this video was sponsored by Fitbit. Oh, this video is sponsored by Fitbit. I gotta get my steps. I'm at 2,890. Uh-oh. I didn't feel so good this morning, that's why it's so low. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just gotta beat Mom. Yeah, well, you got a long way to go. Why is this video sponsored by Fitbit? Because she was playing out here this afternoon. Oh. She was hanging. I, I asked her if there was a special thing on her, on her, Fitbit, for her Fitbit for hanging. I don't think so. Can you do a chin up? Are you kidding me? After this uh, Fitbit makes me a bit of fit, I'll come back at the end of the semester. And... Show me how to do chin ups? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I can help you get fit tomorrow by... Uh, having you climb the ladder and stuff insulation. Um, whatever it takes. That's what I wanted to hear. That's my girl.